I have a friend who is going to come in, and he, don't tell him, but he is not a very good TA, and he <laughs> is going to do a problem. It's my friend Dustin. My name is Justin. His name's Dustin. So he's going to come in and do this, this physics problem here. I'll go get him. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah? What a, I guarantee no other sections are doing this. All right. All right. All right. So, welcome to physics. We're going to do this problem. So, all right. So Trinity jumps off a freeway overpass and he hopes to land on a truck below. Oh, in case you didn't know, this is from the movie The Matrix. Everybody remember this movie? Okay, good. So, oh yeah, and sorry. What I'd like you to do is to write down what he's doing wrong. <laughs> okay? Maybe what he's doing right, but certainly what he's doing wrong. Thank you. Okay. 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 She runs at 10 meters per second and jumps horizontally. Okay, so runs at 10 meters per second, jumps horizontally. The truck is moving, what, 30 meters per second. She is five meters above the top of the truck. Okay, so there's a truck, there's Trinity. Okay, very clear. Uh, and, uh, and so, what are the, okay, question one. When should she jump? Specifically, how many seconds before the truck passes to jump an off point should she jump? Okay, so what are the relevant numbers in this problem? She's going at 10 meters per second. The truck's going at 30 meters per second. She's five meters above the truck. Okay, so who knows, who knows an equation for the position of a something that is undergoing constant acceleration? Okay, right, yes, it's, it's x of t. This is in your book, this is really easy, okay? Plus one half a t squared, great. Okay, so all you have to do for this part of the problem is how long the truck is gonna, the truck is going, she's gonna fall five meters, how long does that take? Okay, so you just plug it in, five meters. Okay, there's 10 into here, fine. Okay, A equals G equals 9.8, great, okay? Actually, no, 10 doesn't go here because it's vertical motion, you see, she's falling vertically. Okay, so then you do all this, this implies t equals the square root of 5 times 2 over 9.8, right? Because this is 0 because she's landing on the truck, right? Okay, so you've got 0 here. You've got 5 here. Okay, you've got 9.8 here. You solve for t. Okay, this is 0, like I said. Okay, fine. So this is the answer to question 1. Yeah, any questions? Okay, so question 2. <laughs> question 2. When she lands on the truck... How fast is the truck going relative to her? So this is harder because it's vectors, but it's actually easy. Okay, so the truck is going like this. This is the truck. It's going 30 meters per second and zero. This is her when she lands on the truck. She's got some velocity. It's 10 in the horizontal. There's no acceleration in the vertical. And what is she going? How fast is she going in the y? Well, that's easy. It's just v equals a t. Like before, a is 9.8. This t is from here. This is about one here. I calculated this for you. This is... 1.01015245. Okay, you got it's going to be on the midterm. Okay, <laughs> so then she, you, you plug these things in. This is about this is about 9.8. So you get about 9.8 here. You subtract these. It's 10. This is about 9.8, and you get 20 and minus 9.8. Okay, you do vectors because it's like you're wondering how fast it is like absolute. This is that the absolute uh, you know, magnitude of the speed. And so the, the, the magnitude of this is 22.3. And this is in meters per second because the problem's in metric. Okay, so uh, thanks very much. Any questions on this? Does this make sense? Okay, great. Okay, so uh, yeah, see y'all later. Good luck on the midterm. All right, so how did that go? Was that, was that reasonable? Or... <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> You're nice. You're nice. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, what happened? <laughs> like, can, I just want to get some ideas of, uh, like, what, what you guys thought of. Like, let's write down, maybe, I'll, maybe I can, um, yeah, let's see if I can do this. Maybe I'll just write down some, you know, what do you guys think? What are some things that he did wrong? I'm lost, too fast, yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, what else? I'd say one thing is that you, uh, instead of writing more, you decided to erase and write over. Yes, I hate it when they do that. 
erase and write over. Yeah. What else? Yeah, really confusing. What the heck? I didn't mean to do that, but you know, it happens. <laughs> okay, okay, bad variable names. Please. No units, yep. This was totally, totally confusing. There was like, wh what numbers? Yeah, that's really confusing. Uh, I kept like repeating how easy it is to do Yes, exactly. It's yeah, easy. Questions. No questions, yeah, 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 no time for questions. It was like, do you have any questions? Okay, let's move on, please. <laughs> yes, this number, I hope you've all committed to memory. <laughs> So, but seriously, like, did you, was there something about, I mean, is it nice when a TA? Well, you know, I was writing stuff and you said this thing going to be a and I'd love to take my head Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, that's true, that's true. So let's just put this in bold to differentiate it, like, uh, 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 identifies what's on midterm. I mean, yeah, that, that's true, that can actually help. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Not explain concepts. Yeah, exactly. Con. Whoa, well, this is not as easy as it looks, and it doesn't look easy. Yeah, didn't explain concepts. This is just sort of like here's a bunch of numbers. Let's just plug its stuff into a formula. Like, okay, what else? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was no interaction at all. It was just you know here I'm just going to crank through. I mean, this is something probably the professor would do. Hopefully better. But yeah, what else? Anything else? This is a nice list. Or sunglasses. Yeah, the sunglasses. What were those? I bought those yesterday at Ross. I was like, what is the most, what are the just craziest 80s? Like, <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But seriously, the dress is an important thing. I mean, like, this is weird. So I think your students, I mean, you, know, you don't always have to dress up, but I think, you know, you, in a sense, you are the peer of, of your students. Wow, is it really... Wait, how long do I have? Do I only have, oh no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, you are a peer of one of your students. You know, you're the, you are not the, the professor in the ivory tower, but you still need to differentiate yourself a little bit. You can empathize with their struggles as students because you were students, but if you dress up a little bit, that will help establish that there is sort of a hierarchy here. Like they can't, they can't manipulate you the can as much. They can't say, oh, can we have three more days on the homework or whatever? Like this does sort of subtly establish some sort of dominance thing. This is, I mean, it's a little bit weird, it's kind of manipulative, but it's just something to think about. Like, you know, it, it is a way for you to distinguish yourself from, from your students. So yeah, great. Well, thanks a, lot for, thanks a lot for helping me write some stuff down here. Um, yeah, those are all, those are all really nice, those are all really nice uh, observations.